forward to this. Today, we have something really special to unbox. Oh, uh, what's in the box? Within the contents of this box is a brand new 1,000 page Star Wars Expanded Universe novel. Let's dive right in. Let's see, what have we got here? Ooh, all right. Oh wow, these are big. There's volume two, volume three, and volume one. All right, so we have here volume one with some very, very beautiful artwork on the front cover there. This is Supernatural Encounters, The Trial and Transformation of Our Whole Hextrophon by Joe Bongiorno. And on the back here, you can see Book 1, The Trial, Book 2, Journey into Other Space, Book 3, Firstborn of the Celestials and the Architects of Madness, and Book 4, The First Shadow. Next up here is Volume 2 of Supernatural Encounters, beautiful artwork here on the cover. It looks like the ship is traveling to a very interesting looking place. And then here on the back you can also see that this is Book 5, The Second Shadow, and Book 6, The Third Shadow. Volume 3 here, as you can see, is much shorter than the other two. By comparison, you can see Volume 2 is the longest of the three, with Volume 3 being the shortest. But I'm not done yet! And volume 3 here you can see what looks like some kind of cosmic event happening there on the cover. And on the back here you can see this has the appendices, the art gallery, acknowledgements, and the infernal endnotes. <laughs> Let's see here, where's the artwork? Let's see what that looks like in here. You can see there is the planetary atlas. You can find this digitally on StarWarsTimeline.net as well. Wow, that's a lot of planets. And then here with the art gallery, you can see these are in black and white. You can find digital copies in color online. They're in the ebook PDF on StarWarsTimeline.net. And if you know how to use a PDF editor, you can pull those out if you want copies of this artwork. I'm actually going to post a folder with the high-res images on Patreon, which all tiers will have access to. You can see there we actually have Sindel from the Ewok movies there on Endor. I recognize that. A lot of this other stuff, I have no idea what this is about, so this is all very intriguing. Oh, there's Tilatni. Tilatni is in the Devil's World comics. She, as I've heard, plays a big part in here and has a big connection to a certain nine book series later on in the EU. And here we have the Immortal Gods of the Sith. These were first mentioned, I believe it is, in the Book of Sith, and outside of their name, everything we know about them comes from Supernatural Encounters. The artwork for Supernatural Encounters by Chris Cold and Guillaume Ducos included here is mind-blowingly fantastic. The very first appendix, Appendix A, is Cult Encounters, and this is the short story that was originally written for Star Wars Gamer in 1999 and later shelved. Author Joe Bongiorno released it himself online years later in 2017, but this is the predecessor to Supernatural Encounters, so if you're actually reading these, it might make sense to read Cult Encounters in Volume 3 before you start with Volume 1. The fine addition to my collection. Now, these books really are something special. They're a part of the Star Wars Expanded Universe, or Legends as it calls it. Supernatural Encounters is often hailed as the Silmarillion of the Star Wars Expanded Universe, delving deep into the mythological aspects of the Star Wars galaxy. The Silmarillion, of course, is J.R.R. Tolkien's penultimate masterpiece, which covers the complete history of his legendarium from its creation creation all the way through and beyond the Lord of the Rings. The story of Supernatural Encounters revolves around Arhul Hextrafon, a French historian exploring ancient civilizations in the galaxy. He's kind of like the Graham Hancock of the Star Wars galaxy. Arhul Hextrafon appears in Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope during the medal ceremony and presented General Dodonna with Han and Luke's medals and is played by Nick Joseph. As the title implies, he's on trial and must provide evidence for his theories of the ancient past, leading to an adventurous journey with his droid Q9X7 to uncover lost truths. 
Supernatural Encounters is set after the Darkness trilogy by Troy Denning and before Betrayal by Aaron Alston, which is in the Legacy of the Force book series. Joe Bongiorno, the author, shared some fascinating insights into the history and creation process of these books. Cult Encounters, which is included in the appendices of Supernatural Encounters, was originally intended for Star Wars Gamer magazine in the late 90s, but was shelved due to the magazine's cancellation. In the mid-2000s, Joe pitched putting Cult Encounters on Hyperspace, Lucasfilm's web-based publishing platform. And he also pitched writing a sequel titled Supernatural Encounters, which was greenlit. Joe wrote the bulk of the story over the next few years, but Hyperspace was shut down in 2011 before it was published. Despite Disney's acquisition of Star Wars in 2012 and subsequent canon nuke in 2014, Joe was not deterred and he continued to refine and perfect his epic. However, in a twist of fate, Joe's persistence paid off when he pitched the nearly complete story as an ebook in 2015. Disney approved it for online publication, but once it was finished, Disney ultimately declined to publish it. Undeterred, Joe released a stripped down 300 page version online which I'll have linked below. This shorter version actually exists as an in-universe publication written by Arhul Hextrafon. Though much of the story was cut from this version, it gained a lot of interest and the author continued to develop his longer version. Including the appendices and endnotes, he later finished a 1000 page version of the book which he released online in 2023. Joe later commissioned a single volume release that only contributors received. Only a few hundred copies were ever printed and they were sent out in the summer of 2023, just weeks after the finished ebook was released. Then, in September of 2023, 50 hardcover and 50 paperback editions were printed exclusively for Legends Con. And now, just recently on January 27, 2024, the 1,000 page book was published on Amazon to the public. This is the very same three volume trade paperback set you see before you. My lord, is that legal? I will make it legal. These might only be available for a limited time, so if you're interested in owning a physical copy, now is the time to grab them. Supernatural Encounters is also currently available for free as a fully illustrated ebook on StarWarsTimeline.net. I'll leave a link below if you want to get your digital copy there. I actually just heard about these books for the first time a few days ago from fellow Expanded Universe YouTuber Quinlan Boss. He has a lot of great videos breaking down Supernatural Encounters, and unlike me, he's actually finished reading it. He also has a great video breaking down the previous edition editions, and this lucky guy has both the hardcover and paperback of the Contributor editions, and both the hardcover and paperback of the Legends Con editions. He also has lots of great videos about the EU, so definitely go check out his channel. These books are a treasure trove for Star Wars fans, offering deep lore, exploration of the expanded universe, and a glimpse into the mythological aspects of the galaxy far, far away. Author Joe Bongiorno ties in this story with many of the odd and obscure publications of the expanded universe, such as the 80s Marvels comics, the 80s newspaper strips, the Tales of the Jedi comics, the Fate of the Jedi series, the Dawn of the Jedi comics, the Clone Wars season 3 and 6, the 80s Lando novels, the original 80s Marvel droids and Ewok comics, the Ewoks TV show and the Ewok movies Caravan of Courage and Battle for Endor, the Crystal Star, the Lost Tribe of the Sith, much of the material found in the Wild Space Volume 1 omnibus, specifically the Devil Worlds comics, and the Galaxy of Fear books. Mammon Hul, an archaeologist from the Galaxy of Fear books, is actually featured as a prominent opponent of Arhul Hextrafon and writes the foreword to Supernatural Encounters, dismissing Arhul Hextrafon's work. This only scratches the surface as Supernatural Encounters really leaves no stone in the EU unturned. The author himself suggested these books in particular are important to the story, which I'll have linked below. Regarding whether or not Supernatural Encounters is canon to the EU, Joe goes into a lot more detail than I on the StarWarsTimeline.net page and in other interviews about his back and forth with Lucasfilm over 20-something years. But in summary, Cult Encounters and Supernatural Encounters were commissioned and officially licensed by Lucasfilm. They declined to publish themselves but it was created for the EU and with the involvement of several of Lucasfilm's top canon keepers involved in its creation. It's an older code, sir, but it checks out. To me, the evidence is clear that Supernatural Encounters and its predecessor Cult Encounters are not only canon to the EU, but essential to the lore and mythology of it. The aforementioned Quinlan Boss has a really good video breaking down how and why it is officially canon to the EU. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the newest editions of Supernatural Encounters and my breakdown of what it is and how it came to be. I am very excited to dive into these, and if you're as intrigued as I am, you can grab your copies on Amazon. Remember, these might not be available for long, so don't wait to add them to your collection. 
collection. But even if you don't, remember, Supernatural Encounters is available as a fully illustrated ebook on StarWarsTimeline.net. The link will be in the description. And don't forget to check out our Star Wars Shadows of the Empire fan film trailer available here and to leave a like, subscribe, and if you want to support the channel so that we can bring you these animated expanded universe fan film adaptations, consider becoming a member on Patreon or Ko-Fi. Your support and investment means the galaxy to us and we couldn't do it without you. You're also welcome to join our Discord server. The invite link will be in the description. And with all that said, it's time to start reading.